Have you ever wondered how the lungs work? Surely we already know that by inhaling and exhaling air in our airways, we are letting oxygen in and carbon hydroxide out. But how does our breathing mechanism work? Robert Boyle's law states that in a closed space, pressure and volume are inversely proportional. An example of Boyle's law in action can be seen in a balloon. Air is done into the balloon. The pressure of the air pushes on the rubber, making the balloon expand. If one of the balloon squeezed, making the unsqueezed part of the balloon expands out. Now, how does Boyle's law is related to our inspiration? As you can see, there is a pair of lungs surrounded by the rib cage and intercostal muscle. There is a dome-shaped muscular partition which is known as diaphragm, separating the thorax and the abdomen. Whenever we breathe, the diaphragm would go downward. So whenever the diaphragm goes downward, it means that the lungs will increase its volume. So once the lungs increase its volume, the pressure inside the lungs will decrease and therefore the pressure outside our body in the surrounding air is higher. As a result, it will force air into our nose which is the inhaling process. On the other hand, when we exhale, our diaphragm rises as shown on the screen. As a result, as this increase, the volume of our lungs decrease. The pressure rises as the volume decrease. In comparison to the outside, the pressure in the lungs is higher. As it turns out, the air goes out. And that is the process of exhalation. For further understanding, we made a long model using a plastic bottle as the thoracic cavity, balloon at the bottom acting as a diaphragm, and the balloon on the inside as the lung. When diaphragm contracted, it will result in the increase of lung volume and decrease in lung pressure following the boil's lung, right? So, the air in the atmosphere will rush into the lungs. When diaphragm contracted, the balloon then inflated. Okay, let's see. When diaphragm contracted, ta-da! The balloon then inflated. And this is called the process of inhalation. Then, the elastic recoil of lungs tissues will cause the relaxation of diaphragm and we will see the balloon get contracted, which is caused by the decrease of lung volume and increase of lung pressure. Okay, let's see again. Inhalation, exhalation. Inhalation, exhalation. Now that you have fully understand how Boyle's Law is related to our respiration, your brain must have been full of knowledge now. We are happy to discuss more, but I guess this is the end. But do always remember that in this world full of problems, let, let yourself, yourself inhale, inhale positivity, positivity and exhale negativity. negativity.